got a developing story impacting the futures picture this morning. New lockdowns, COVID lockdowns in China in a major manufacturing region. Eunice Yoon joins us now with the latest. Eunice, good morning. Good morning. Uh, the southwestern city of Chengdu has just imposed its stay-at-home order about 40 minutes ago for its 21 million residents. Uh, the city is an industrial base it, uh, for uh, big multinational companies like Toyota, Intel, as well as Apple supplier Foxconn. Foxconn actually produces iPads in that area. Um, the um, city also accounts for 1.7 percent of Chinese GDP. Now, the Chengdu authorities have said that uh, they will allow factories to operate as long as they are in a closed loop system, which means that workers have to live and work on the premises. Now, this uh, Chengdu lockdown is the latest in a series of COVID controls uh, for factory hubs as well as ports. Uh, the port city of Dalian is imposing uh, targeted lockdowns. Uh, residents in the factory hub Shenzhen are urging, being urged not to leave the city. Uh, port city Tianjin, which is uh, nearby Beijing, has undergone four mass testing rounds since this weekend, and it looks as though it's going to continue. This is all coming at a very, very sensitive time for Beijing when the leadership is expected to gather here in the capital about six weeks from now, and they're going to be deciding who is going to be in power. Uh, the expectation, of course, is that President Xi Jinping is going to be taking a precedent uh, setting a third term for at least another five years. Um, and the authorities are prioritizing stability. So uh, they do not want anything, including major outbreaks, to uh, become a disruption for that political gathering. Uh, these lockdowns are also coming at a, a time when the economy is uh, in a tough spot, um, not only because of the struggling property sector and uh, because of the poor consumption that we're seeing here, but also now uh, factory activity. In fact, the PMI, with a private survey, the Caixin PMI, showed that manufacturing shrunk in August at 49.5. Uh, that is um, similar to what we saw with the official uh, PMI as well. We did have some good news, though, on the COVID front, because I don't want to be totally down all the time. Um, but uh, Hong Kong um, has said that they are going to now um, play with the idea of a reverse quarantine, that they got early support uh, to allow uh, anybody who is interested in coming to travel on business to China to potentially isolate and quarantine in Hong Kong first and then enter quarantine free onto the mainland, which um, would be a pretty big deal because it's not something that we've seen so far.